Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Sorry, I usually close my closet door that has some of my wax bins there, but I just got home from work, ate dinner, said hi to my kids, talked to my husband, and I have a couple just really small hauls to share with you guys. The very first one that I thought I would talk about though is one that um, is a vendor that I have definitely hauled from before, but it was before even my Instagram channel, I think, um, and definitely before my YouTube channel. And then friends have sent me some of her wax before and I have thoroughly enjoyed it. And I'm talking about sparkles wax melts. Um, this was a father's day, like sampler pre-order if I am not mistaken. Um, and I was just so pulled in by it because of like the meaning behind it, the name, the notes, the blends. Plus I had an order from sparkle and forever, she sent the sampler in this small um, flat rate shipping here. Let me get my, I literally just opened this, you guys, so I am not prepared for any of this. <laughs> so let's see, it said, it was called the He is King pre-order. It was a four to six weeks turnaround, which was totally in time. I think with shipping and everything, all of these cups were 40 something bucks. And I can't even remember how many cups there are. I guess we'll count as we go. Um, but if you don't know, Sparkle Scott owns Sparkle's Wax Melts. She's very famous for her, um, oh gosh, I'm going to say it wrong. But these really beautiful, beautifully shaped um, like wax melts that you can chop up that are shaped in um, beautiful women of color with beautiful hair. Um, and it's a mold that she actually created herself. So I think that's really cool. Um, once again, Sparkle Scott, if you follow her Facebook page, she is just, to me, her page and her company just really embody like calm, but with some fun. She seems like a chill person, but someone that also knows how to have fun. So I just think she's really cute. And, um, anyways, there's her card. She sent the packing slip. It doesn't have the price on it, but I'm pretty sure with shipping everything, this was like 40 bucks, but okay. So one sample here in blue volcano she does a lot of these samples i've had them before in these like crescent moon kind of shapes yeah and this is definitely the volcano scent from um you guys it's been a really long day and i only got like two hours of sleep last night capri blue <laughs> it definitely smells like that like that really vibrant fruity uh like tropical blend to me, it always smells like a really vibrant, like orange creamsicle with a little bit of like nectarine and mango. That's kind of how it smells to me. Okay. So I haven't even like dumped these out. I still have them in the box. I wonder if this paper says something about them. Nope. That's just another business card. Okay. So basically this sampler was based on Father's Day. Um, on the black father, the African-American father. I don't want to offend anyone with how I'm saying it. Um... My husband is African-American, clearly I'm not, and I never really know how to go about talking about that because I never want to disrespect anybody, um, but we, I love him very much. We've been married for over 10 years now. We've been together for almost 15 years now. We have four kids, and he is the father of my children and my husband, and he is African-American, and he is my king, and that's kind of why, part of why I got this sampler, besides the fact that her wax is great and the blend sounded amazing. So I guess I don't want to talk about that too much because I don't want to say anything wrong that would ever hurt anyone. But um, anyway, so this first one, I love this packaging. So all of them have this really cool king, uh, lion king on it. And it just says he is king. And this scent is called Late Night Massages. And this is the Storm White Linen and Tassie Lavender. Hmm. The storm must be a very strong scent. While I do get lavender tassie, because that is a strong lavender oil, and a little bit of white linen, the storm must be a very, like, green, cologne -y, like, mossy, men's cologne kind of blend. Really just, like, sexual masculine, really, and fresh, uh, cologne scent. So late night massages, very nice. And each of the, oh, there's no ounces on these, but these are about two ounce cups that I've 
had before, so about that size. Um, and I'll count as we go how many there are. Um, this next one is called When a Man Loves a Woman. Woman. Earthen oak, mahogany, coconut, rice flour, and shea. Ooh, that sounds really nice. Ooh, and that is... Mmm. <sighs> what do I get first? Probably the earthen oak. I love that oil. I get mahogany coconut, but more so the mahogany there. And that rice flour and shea is just so gentle and creamy and pretty. Yeah, that's really, really good. So it ends up being like this woodsy, like that mahogany wood kind of a scent, but with that more earthy oak, but with a touch of that feminine creamy sweetness. So when a man loves a woman, it's like strength and softness and all the things. Really nice. Uh, this one's called He Loves Us. And it's Aquadigio, uh, Black Sea, and Blackberry. Ooh, yeah. That's, that's a me kind of scent. Ugh, the Black Sea is just really the base to it. To me, Black Sea is a very dark, 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 almost woodsy, only slightly aquatic scent. And that Aquadigio, oh man, I don't think I'll ever get sick of Aquadigio. It's so, such a truly aquatic scent to my nose with a touch of woods. And the blackberry just kind of gives us like a juiciness, like a, yeah, like a juice, like I don't directly smell blackberry, but it gives us like a mouth-watering juiciness. Oh, so far that is my favorite. He loves us. That is really nice. Okay. Oh, this one's broken. Uh, this next one's called For the Love of Family, Tropical Colada Pineapple Coconut Milk. Now, this is one my husband would love because he loves anything pineapple, coconut, tropical. Yeah, and this definitely smells like like a very pineapple-y coconut pina colada with very fresh pineapple, very juicy, fresh pineapple. That's really good. Very just fun, festive, fresh. Uh, this next one is called Dad's Choice. Green apple, mac apple, flannel sheets, and bonsai. I get the bonsai first. Bonsai is an extremely strong oil, but the flannel sheets gives it, because bonsai is not a laundry scent. To me, bonsai is just a very fresh green, like clean green scent. Flannel sheets adds a little bit of actual like fluffy laundry to it. And there's just a teeny tiny bit of those two apples in there. Not much. This smells like a very clean, fresh, like cleaning day laundry almost. Um, so flannel sheets, you guys know, is one of my very favorite um, laundry oils. So of course I like this one. Once again, that one's called Dad's Choice. Totally excited to melt that one. Uh, this next one is Our Home Filled with Love. This is sweet potato, brown sugar, cinnamon, vanilla ice cream, zucchini bread, bourbon. Um, if you guys don't know, oh, that smells so good. Every Thanksgiving, I make my husband homemade sweet potato pie because he grew up with sweet potato pie um, on the East Coast. He's from Philadelphia. Uh, we live in Utah now, and people don't eat sweet potato pie very much out here. People are in general, pumpkin pie people out here. I definitely like sweet potato pie better, especially when it's homemade with gobs of butter. <laughs> um, and so that this just kind of reminds me of that. I definitely get sweet potato, brown sugar, just a touch of cinnamon, not very spicy at all. That creamy vanilla. And there is definitely just a little touch of bourbon in there. Mm. And there is a bit of zucchini bread too but I mostly get like sweet potato, brown sugar and bourbon, I would say. That's like Thanksgiving right here. Ugh, sweet potatoes are my favorite part of Thanksgiving of any sort. Okay, so, so far, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six cups so far in. This next one is called Rest and Relaxation. Serene Waters, Ivory, Clean Soap, and Himalayan Bamboo. Hmm. Ivory always kind of reminds me of home. Mm, okay. This smells like ivory, which reminds me of just being a kid at like my grandparents' house. The bamboo adds like a greenness to the ivory. 
and there's just a little touch of something aquatic. That definitely rest and relaxation. I don't know what it is about ivory. It's just such a nostalgic scent to me. I don't know if it was just my grandparents or like grandparents their age just used ivory a lot and the smell of it just reminds me of like I don't know. I really don't know what it is, but I've always talked about in the wax world that ivory has always been so nostalgic to me. But, sorry. I'm like, this is like what I wear under my scrub top at work. <laughs> this next one is called We Love Him. Barbershop 1920, guilty men's cologne type and lush linen. Let's see. So Barbershop 1920. Hmm. So I think I'm getting guilty men type the most. I've never smelled that cologne solo. Barbershop 1920s is just kind of that like shaving foam scent. I wonder lush linen. This smells really good, but it's really hard to describe. Mm. This is very comforting. I do not really know what to say. This is so good. It's yeah, it's, it's super duper comforting. Um, it's almost earthy, fresh and fluffy. It's like an earthy fluffy with a touch of like a really woodsy men's cologne. Oh my gosh. That one is really special. We love him. Very special. Mm. I would definitely get that if she offered that again. Once again, it's Barbershop 1920s, Guilty Men Type, and Lush Linen. That is amazing. Um, the next one is called My King. And this is Midnight Blue Citrus, Sun Washed Citrus, and White Suede. <laughs> it's very citrusy. Yeah, I mostly just get really bright, zippy citruses. Mm. Yeah, it's like shout from the rooftops, bright citruses. Yum. Yeah, that's really nice. Mouth-watering citrus. Very nice. I think I have three more. So I think there was nine. No. Twelve total. Uh, this one's called Soul of a Man. And this is... Man Cave, Palo Santo, and Fresh Linen. Hmm. Oh my gosh, what is Man Cave? Is that like a house blend of hers? I definitely get the woodsy Palo Santo, but there's something that's even more woodsy in here. I don't get much fresh linen, just a little, little touch. But it's... It, it's Palo Santo, but deeper. That's, that's like a perfect name for it. Very just like deep woodsy, but not in a headache inducing way. It's definitely, it's like a true wood, not a woodsy cologne scent. Oh, I really like that. That is like a earthy woods scent. Um, real men wear pink. How cute is that? And this is flannel, smoked vanilla, and steel sugar. Ooh. Yes. Mm. Yes. This is so good. Oh, that smoked vanilla. Smoked vanilla is one of the smokiest scents to my nose. I can't even tell you which one I get the most. I feel like I get all three equally. Ugh. Yeah, flannel, smoked vanilla, and steel sugar. I get all of them. And it ends up just coming off as like a hug from your man. Like it doesn't smell like cologne necessarily. It doesn't necessarily smell like clean laundry. It just smells like a hug. I love that. That's really good. Real men wear pink. Okay, last, last one. Yes. Uh, Daddy Go Knock You Out. And this is Hedonic Tonic, Isimiyaki, and Satsuma. Hmm. Hmm. I just dropped that. Uh, okay, so first I get Satsuma. Satsuma always sticks out to me the most in any blend that it's in. 
I do get a little bit of hedonic tonic. I've had that from other vendors. And I have owned Issey Miyake's uh, female perfume, but never the men's one. So this smells like a more like aquatic herbal satsuma cologne almost. I like that though. That, that would be a very nice like actual cologne, this blend, because it smells like a very fresh invigorating one. So really nice. Um, so that was it, you guys. That was the sampler. I wish I could have done it better justice without my tired post-work self, but I was really excited to talk to you guys about it and I want to get to melting it. All of these, by the way, say to cure till June 20th. So we are past that. They are ready to be melted. Um, so you will be seeing these on my Instagram for sure. If you don't know my Instagram, it's at Danny Loves Wax. And I will absolutely be reviewing those um, and talking about how much I love them because they are very unique um, and based around our husbands that I think sometimes we don't show enough love for. I know we rag on them sometimes. I know they drive us crazy sometimes. Um, but at least in my household, I am very lucky and very blessed to have the husband that I have. He does so much for our family, so much for me. He knows when I'm at my wit's end. Um, you know, he works full time like I do. He probably does more housework than I do. Um, and he's always just calm and understanding and just, I'm very thankful for him. And I try to tell him that as much as I can. So anyways, um, let me know if you guys got this sampler, what you think, if, if any of those blends sound interesting to you, I know they're super unique and super, super cool. Let me know if you guys have ordered from sparkle, oh, sorry, sparkles before and, um, how you guys like her wax. I have a couple other just little hauls to do before I go get in the shower and go to bed. <laughs> um, Sparkle, thank you so, so much for this um, amazing sampler and the meaning behind it. Um, it's beautiful. So have a great night, you guys. We'll see you later. Bye.